every feeling you have can be allowed. The instant reaction to strong feelings is to run, is to run the other way. We don't want to feel them, but where we actually liberate ourselves and transcend them is through really feeling and experiencing them. I think a mistake people make with self-inquiry or uh, the path of awakening is that we think we don't feel anything anymore. In fact, it's actually the opposite. It's that the space that you are as consciousness, as presence, allows all feelings to arise within it, but doesn't run from it. We, we simply, we sit with the feeling, sit with the feeling. It's allowing, it's if we feel fear, if we feel stress, if we feel jealousy, anger, we allow that just to be. And it's the most, it's the hardest thing because the mind and all the thoughts don't want that to happen. It'll do anything, it'll say, it'll, it wants it, the, the, the feeling of it coming up is so strong. Actually allowing all feelings, allowing all of that to flow is so strong that we, uh, the mind doesn't want to experience it. So it goes, it looks for the food, it looks for the relationship, for sex or for whatever it's clinging to, to free itself because we just don't want to feel alive. We don't want to actually experience what is meant to happen or come up. But then as soon as we start allowing, we don't allow, we don't um, uh, go to, to what we're chasing, to run from what's actually happening right here. We start allowing, we allow all those feelings, all the negative, bad ones, anger, jealousy, joy, laughter, we allow all of them to come, come when they want to come, because that's what's meant to come through. And then through that, we start unblocking energy, because all, when, when, we, when we trap our feelings, when we trap what's wanting to come through, and we go to these external things, we, we block it, we, tr we keep it in, we keep whatever has brought up or, or caused that feeling we keep it inside and that blocks our energy but then as soon as we start allowing as presence as consciousness which is what you are which is always allowing of everything we start that all starts coming up and then the energy that's in us the shakti um, life force will start coming up and flowing and then you'll feel amazing that feeling is not not even a feeling, it's a frequency and it's a, a perception. And that is, uh, it's not even like about feeling good, it's just constant energy and flow that comes through you, which is what should probably, which is what should be happening, which is what is always there. And when that is tasted, you, you won't want to deny feelings. But we also, then can really embrace. We embrace if we feel angry, if we feel anxious, if we feel fear, really feel that, feel it. It's, it's awesome, it's good that we can experience those. Um, so it's really feeling that and, and having a curiosity in the feeling. I remember even as a really quite young kid, early teens, um, without even knowing, being into introspection and self-inquiry and always wanting to like really know and feel what I was what I was feeling I thought at the time it was just um you know because I was interested in in the arts and expression and introspective I thought that's all it was I didn't actually know that that was self-inquiry but in some way we're always we're all doing that but uh, we're not usually looking at it head on. We're usually, the mind's usually wanting to run from it. Um, it's not, there's this like, this feeling of like not okayness with it or something's wrong, something's off, uh, things aren't right, I'm not feeling good, I have to go drink, 
um, jack off, whatever. <laughs> uh, and then that creates suffering because we're storing inside. We keep storing all these layers, all these layers to who we are and how we could be feeling when we could be feeling full of life, energetic and free, which is what we all are, which is what we should all be experiencing just for the fullness of life, the fullness of, of, of the life that is in me that's the same life that's in you. And that life always allows as consciousness, it always allows, it's always the space of presence that is, that is in all of us. So if we're struggling with feeling, just bring awareness to it. Who is it right now that is feeling this? Who is it that's feeling this? I can't be this feeling because it, it comes and it goes. It has a start, it has an end. So who is, who is the one that is experiencing these feelings and thoughts? Um, who is that one? What, who is the I? I always call myself I, but what is the I? If I'm always changing thoughts and feelings, experiences, appearances, who's the I? And we get to a point where we can't really explain it, but we know that it's the same I that's in all of us. It's what we all refer ourselves to. So just allow, 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 allow. It's the biggest thing.